We're going to begin tonight, though, with that breaking news. A large fire breaks out a historic building in Ozaki County. This is happening at the Lake Church Inn in Belgium, which is right near the freeway. Christina Van Zell, live at the scene. This is right off of Highway D, Christina. You can see it's an active scene, and this building's been around since the 1800s. Ben, there's still a lot going on here at the scene as firefighters are working to uh, put out this fire. But people on the scene describe this as a quaint historic bar, and that's why a lot of people are just devastated watching the firefighters work. And we want to show you what we're looking at right now. The main thing is water supply. One of the firefighters here says there's at least 10 departments lined up along the road supplying that water as they continue to work on this fire. Now, this all started around 6 o'clock tonight. Our crews got to the scene here around seven where you could still see some of those flames, but the smoke continues here an hour later. Now some people standing out here believe the fire started in the kitchen, but we're still waiting to confirm all of that from the crews on the scene. Of course, they're busy working on the fire, but the fire does at least seem to be contained to the Lake Church Inn. there's a lot of homes surrounding it. Those don't look damaged, but again, everybody we talked to tonight says this is tough to watch. It hurts. I mean, it, it does. It does. I feel for the owner. I know the owner and I know his wife and I, I feel for them and I feel for, you know, the people that are going to be affected by this. And judging by the people watching it tonight, it does seem like a lot of people are really touched by this fire. Now, according to their website, the Lake Church Inn was open tonight, but I asked a firefighter on scene if anybody was injured. He couldn't tell me anything as of now. So, of course, we'll bring you that information as we get it. Reporting live in Belgium, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. They have hand-carved ceilings from the 1800s in that building, so history going up in smoke before our eyes. All right, Christina, we'll get to you with the latest developments.